Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it was fine. You know what? You're always going to have that. It's like people a little peacocking as they're running around each other. It was nothing. Robert and I talked about it, and we had really good work. So I'm sure you probably tweeted out on both accounts, or maybe your third account, D-Led, that there was fight. There was no fights. A little shoving, whatever. We settled it down. We had really good work. I call it skirmish. Skirmish, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we all have, and we didn't, we didn't want any fights, and we didn't have any fights. And then, uh, you know, you talked to their team and you tell them, hey, we came up here to get some work. Not, not yeah, I mean, that's what it was. But but you're always going to have that the first couple of plays, that you got to knock that out and got to understand. And it goes both ways. Like I said, it's like people just – Circling whatever, it's nothing. But and we got really good work, and I appreciate their staff. And we had a lot of good situational. We had call it. We had a two minute before the end of the half. Thought it was good work. Um, offensive line looked like they put in some good work. Um, we're trying to watch them. Look like they did a good job. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, after watching it in person, and then obviously we'll study the film here in a couple hours. And but it was good work. D different scheme, different fronts. Thought we held up pretty well. And, uh, yeah, I was on the offensive right. field. Uh, contrary to some guys uh, in this league that claim they can see Everything. both fields, <laughs> um, I, I can't. So I was on our field, but I'll, I'll watch the tape. Uh -huh. and could you discuss uh, Caleb McGarry uh, and his, the camp he's having? Yeah, he's having a solid camp. Proud of Caleb. He's come a long way. Um, really had his first healthy offseason. And I think he's playing pretty good football right now. From what you did see, Coach, was the energy and physicality there for you? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're not tackling. So, like, when you have those move the balls, it's all relative. Um, you know, we don't have a bunch of cheerleaders as coaches. You know the situation. It's all we're trying to do. It's a very subjective whistle when you're not tackling. And we're just trying to put drives together. And I thought we had good, good work back and forth. And the benefit of going against somebody who doesn't know your plays is the unaware, right? You don't know what's going to happen. You like the way the guys adjust it. When things absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. How much of this is? I thought they're solid. There's always things we got to work on. I mean, some of the stuff, it, again, because it's not live, some of the play extensions or, you know, they had the refs out here. So, you know, it's good to coach off some of the flags. And I think the one pick that Ritter had was a DPI. It took him 10 minutes to realize that it was a DPI. But, uh, you know, stuff like that and then holds or whatever. So plenty of stuff to, to coach off of. With no Drake, obviously, a lot of guys buying for that spot. How those guys done out in the receiver spot? It's all our guys. I mean, that's the old narrative we got to get. We, we, you know, we have expectations. When you draft somebody high or you pay them, it doesn't guarantee you anything. The best guys are going to play. So I don't know how many times I got to say that. We're going to have competition every year. And we're going to put the best 48 out there on game day that we have, uh, regardless of where they're drafted, what school they came from. That's, that's how we're going to be right here. First time uh, with the joint practice, how do you think you guys responded? You know, Pretty well. I mean, like I said, the, 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 you know, there's a lot of posturing that started out, and then we settled down, and I thought we had a very productive day. I know you weren't over with the defense, but D. Alford getting quite a bit of work with the first team and playing a little bit, a couple different roles. How do you see him progressing over this training camp? We just got to see what he can do. You know, he's earned the opportunity for more more reps, and we'll continue to work with him and see, see you know, earn a job and what his role can be. I don't know if you'll answer this or not, maybe too processed, but when you're coming into this week, how much are you and Robert talking about how you want these practices to look and kind of scripting it out? How yeah, we talk. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they send over, you know, logistically what, how they do things. I said, great, you know, and talk to them, coordinators talk, what do you want to see? And uh, it was great spirit of cooperation. I appreciate Robert and his staff and hopefully have a productive day tomorrow.